All right, we're going to make our digital value drawing. We're going to go to new and we need to come on down here to our Google drawings. When our Google drawing opens up, we're going to come up here to our toolbar and we're going to start with a shape. And to me, the easiest shape is going to be like a rectangle or a square. Once you have that selected, go ahead and draw it up so that you're using that whole distance across the paper. The paper is going to be this little area that's checkerboarded on here. And when we opened up our shape, our toolbar came up with this little fill color. And you can see you've got these value scales. They go from light to dark. So you choose whichever color you want and fill that first shape. I also like to come in here and make my border transparent. Now, once I have that done, if it doesn't have the blue box around it, that means it's not active. So I wanna click on it, make sure I have that blue box. I'm gonna do Control C, Control V, and it's gonna make me a copy of that rectangle. I can move it down, I can come up here to my fill color, and I can choose the next one on my value scale. And then I just have to do control V again because I already copied it. I just need to make a new copy. So I'm going to go control V again. And as you notice, every time I paste it, I come up here and I choose the next color down on my value scale. So really making it the first time is kind of the biggest deal. Once you have that shape made, then you can just keep changing up the values until you have that value scale from light to dark. Now, if you notice down here, I didn't quite use all of my paper. So if I come back up here and I hold my shift button while I click on each one of those, I can actually just move that down and it'll fill up my whole paper for me. Then I can come up here to my toolbar again. I can select my text box and I could draw that wherever I want to put it. I can come up here to my toolbar and I can choose whatever font I want it to be. I can choose whatever size I want it to be. And I can type in that personal value. And if I decide that it's not big enough, I can just keep making it till it's the size that I like it to be. I can also, when I have my little compass rows, move that wherever I think it should go. You decide what you want it to look like. Now, when I have my mouse on there, if I go control Y, control shift Y, sorry, it'll come up with that definition for me. So then I could come up over here and I can make another text box. Same font, different font, you can decide, but I could type the definition then the ability to be relied on as honest or truthful. So there's the definition of trustworthiness that is my personal value. And again, I can play around with the size that I like it to be. Um, I could come up here and make sure if I want it in the center or however it is that I want that to look. Now, once I have that looking the way that I want it to, I can always come in here and title this value drawing Jen Carlisle. And if I have it all exactly the way I want it to be, I would go to file download as a JPEG. Once I have it downloaded as a JPEG, then I just go in and I upload it to Artsonia just like I did on last week's project.